Did you know that if you're part of the licensed pharmaceutical supply chain and you falsify labels or documentation, track and trace documentation, you could get up to 30 years in jail? I did not. It's true. There's actually pretty serious charges for messing with a label or the track and trace documentation that might be used before a product is sold to the public. This is exciting because us at PSM, we, we look at counterfeit cases all the time and we're used to people getting like two or three years, maybe even getting nothing uh, on probation. So we're excited because there have been a rash of people who have been operating through cooperatively criminal wholesalers, licensed wholesalers in the supply chain, putting dangerous medicines into the hands of unsuspecting pharmacists, defrauding them, and having it reach patients, which is ultimately very harmful. This is not a new part of the US criminal code. It's actually been around for maybe as much as 10 years or more. Became aware of it because it was the third account in an indictment of a gentleman named Stephen Diamantstein, who was accused of falsifying the DSCSA or track and trace documentation, which all medicine must have now, before introducing it into the supply chain and selling it to unsuspecting pharmacies. The thing is, that false documentation wouldn't hold up under a little bit of scrutiny. If you're a pharmacist, this DSCSA documentation is a goldmine for patient safety. If you have any suspicions and you check it out, it doesn't match the documentation that's been given to you by a wholesaler, you know what you've got is a fraud and not safe for patients. You can protect yourself from being victimized financially and you can protect your patients from dangerous medication. We've got a whole webpage that teaches pharmacists about their legal obligations under the DSCSA and even how to do a trace by hand if you wanted to do that. We've also got links to resources from APHA, HDA, and the FDA on the Drug Supply Chain Security Act. Check it out at this URL below.